All right, I want to do a, an example out of the, the book here, number four, um, in section 1.3, um, referring to this picture right there. Two banks of a river are parallel, and the distance between the two points, A and B, along one bank is 500 feet. For a point C on the opposite bank, they measure the angles. BAC is 56 degrees, and ABC is 41 degrees. Um, what is the width of the river? Okay, it's what you call triangulation. Um, width of the river. They give you a hint here. Divide AB into two pieces. I'm going to move over. Oops, move over this way. Um, divide it into two pieces. This is A here. This is B over there. What we're going to do is we're essentially going to uh, drop a perpendicular from C down here. That's the width that we're looking for. All right. What it does is it cuts this 500 feet into two pieces. I don't know how long each piece is, so I'm going to call one of the pieces X, and I know that the other piece is going to be 500 minus X. Okay. By dropping that perpendicular, I've got two right triangles here with two known angles. Problem is, I've got some unknown stuff. Let's see what we can get here. On this left-hand triangle, I have, is this tangent? Yes, the tangent of 56 degrees is the opposite side, W, over the adjacent side, X. Which, if I solve for W, is that W equals X times the tangent of 56 degrees. Problem is, I don't know what X is. So let's see if I can look at this other triangle here. So the triangle over here on the right tells me that the tangent, again, I'm using tangent because I've got this angle, those two sides, the opposite side and the adjacent side. So that's tangent of 41 degrees is equal to the opposite side of W over the adjacent side of 500 minus X. Multiplying, we get that W equals 500 minus X times the tangent of 41 degrees. Now, um, what I end up with here is two variables, but two equations. I need to solve them simultaneously. I'm actually partly there anyway, because I've got them both solved for W. I can set them equal to each other. Since w equals this, w equals that, these two numbers must be equal to each other. So x times the tangent of 56 degrees should equal 500 minus x times the tangent of 41 degrees. Now what I have is one equation with one variable. I ought to be able to solve for x. So I'll do that by distributing here. Again, I'm going to not do any calculations until the end. That's when I'll type it into my calculator. I don't want to round anything here if I can avoid it. So x tan 56 degrees is equal to the distributive property here 500 times the tangent of 41 degrees minus x times the tangent of 41 degrees. 40 not 45 but 41. I can see an x on this side and x on that side. Let's get it together. So I'm going to take this term and add it on to the other side. So I've got x tan 56 degrees minus, no, plus, because I'm adding it on, x tan 41 degrees equals 500 tangent 41 degrees. Okay. Now, if this were just like 3 times x plus 9 times x, I just add the 3 and the 9 to get 12. Well, essentially that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to factor this x out so that those two numbers just get added together. Tangent of 56 degrees plus the tangent of 41 degrees. And that stuff's still the same over there. Okay. Notice that you can't just say tangent of 97 degrees. 97 degrees, we don't even know how to deal with that number yet. Uh, we will, but for the moment we got to stick here. Um, but whatever this is, it's the number times x. I'm trying to solve for x, so that number is being multiplied by x. To get rid of it, I've got to divide. So x is this number over here, 500 tan 41 degrees, divided by whatever this number is, 
tangent of 56 degrees plus the tangent of 41 degrees. So I'm going to use my calculator. In fact, I'm going to show you. I'm going to slide this off to the side. Turn on my calculator. Clear out all the stuff that I have from previous calculations. And what I need is 500 times the tangent of 41 divided by, put this all in parentheses now, tangent of 56 plus the tangent of 41. Close parentheses. 184.8. So back here, we'll record that result. 184.8 feet. Okay. When I drew that perpendicular, I cut the 500 into two pieces. Didn't know what each piece was but it gave me two triangles. I had two variables, two triangles to work with. I could come up with two equations, solve them simultaneously. That's what I did. And I got 184 feet across.